Welcome to New Life Live with host and founder of New Life Ministries, Stephen Arterburn. New Life Live is dedicated to transforming lives one at a time, thanks to the giving hearts of you, our listeners. Our goal is to provide you with wisdom from God's Word to give you hope and help in life's hardest places. If you have a question you'd like to ask today, our phone lines are open. Call 1-800-229-3000. That number again is 1-800-229-3000. Now here's Steve. Hi there. Welcome to New Life Live. Steve Arterburn here. And joining me today... Dr. Sherry Keffer and Dr. Daniel Amen, and uh, Dr. Amen uh, was on. We we had him on just the other day, and I didn't get to talk to him enough about what's going on in his world. And uh, there's a lot going on, I'm sure, with COVID and people. I don't know if you've noticed this, but people get older every day, and uh, I know I am. But Dr. Amen, welcome, and Dr. Keffer, welcome. Dr. Amen, what is going on in your world that uh, we might? Uh, well, we just might be deprived if you didn't share it with us. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Steve. Hi, Sherry. Hey. Um, big, big news. You know, we just finished a 30-day happiness challenge. We had 31,000 people sign up. And uh, the people who stayed with us were 20% happier. So we're happy about that. And one of the things we had them do is write down uh the 20 happiest moments of your life so when you get sad you Mm. can begin to learn how to change your state uh it's a skill and about two weeks ago the canadian association of nuclear medicine it's a prestigious scientific body that regulates the brain imaging work that i do um came out with new procedure guidelines as if i wrote them uh wow. it's interesting sometimes callers you know look me up on the internet and go dr amon's controversial and it's no question absolutely because i'm a psychiatrist who believes you should actually look at the brain before you go about changing it and so i've been a bit at war with my colleagues going come on you know why are psychiatrists the only medical doctors who never look at the organ they treat well, a couple of weeks ago, the Canadian Association of Nuclear Medicine said, you should look at the brain uh, for things like dementia, traumatic brain injury, resistant psychiatric disorders. Uh, uh, it's, it's in the top five of the happiest moments of my life. Wow. Mm-hmm. Good that's for so you. Good. That's that's that legend. We talked about last time that you're a living legend. But I, I often tell people, I say, Dr. Amon's one of those people that... You've paved. You've been a trailblazer, and it. It. You've also had arrows in your back for it, right? But I, I think as your work continues forward, you've been that agent of change that has set a whole new trajectory ahead of us. And I think people are going to look back like Einstein, and you know, in years ahead, and go, "Yeah, you know that Dr. Amen, uh, he created the looking at your brain thing. <laughs> you know, just like well, Einstein would did with the light bulb, right?" Well, Dr. Amon, I'm glad you brought up um, the fact that you've been criticized because I absolutely know how to eliminate all criticism. A lot of people don't know this secret. Just don't do anything. Don't have an opinion. Uh, just sit back and, and do nothing, say nothing. Don't make an impact on the world. And nobody's going to criticize. Well, okay, <laughs> maybe they would that you're not doing anything. But, but it really is true. You have been a trailblazer. And... Uh, just the fact that it, that your education started at Oral Roberts University, I just think is fantastic because you you have a theology behind the psychiatry and the psychology, and it makes all the difference in the world. That's why we love having you on. His book, Dr. Amon's book, you could get it. We'd get it to you. Is the brain is always listening, and so is your mother. You should never forget that. All right, we're going to take a break. Come right back with your phone calls and uh, I'll tell you later we've mentioned it before but we've got a great gift for anybody joining Club New Life or increasing uh, their support for Club New Life and it is a time with God resource really powerful includes a shopping bag so when you don't spend time with God you can go out and shop and uh, keep your groceries fresh and all of that but we'll tell you about that after this you're listening to New Life Live glad you are 
I feel blessed to have had this opportunity for my needs to be met, connecting with other women who are fighting the same fight, hoping for healthy marriages and growing closer to the Lord on their journey. My name is Shelly Martinkus, and I want to personally invite you to the Restore Workshop. If you have been affected by betrayal, it might be that your husband has been looking at pornography, it might be an emotional, a physical affair. I would love for you to come join us. I feel encouraged and hopeful that even in my struggle, I am enough. You will leave with hope, with a community of sisters ready to support you, and you will also leave with tools to move you forward on this journey. Through the sharing in our small group, I realize that I am not alone. Please don't hesitate. Pick up the phone, call 1-800-NEW-LIFE. I would love to see you there. The Restore Workshop is coming to Dallas, Texas, June 25th through the 27th. Call 1-800-NEW-LIFE to find out more. That's 1-800-639-5433 or online at newlife.com. To find out more information about New Life or to order any of the resources mentioned on today's program, call 1-800-NEW-LIFE. Now back to New Life Live. We're back. Dr. Amen is here. We're going right to the phones. And uh, let's go to Courtney, Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, hi, Courtney. How are you today? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for taking my call. Certainly. What's going on? So I have a question for Dr. Amen. I was wondering if he's ever heard of the brain therapy Staraset, and if so, just what his thoughts are on on that. I have not. Tell me more about it. So Brain State, actually the former name was Brain State Technology, and they just have, within the last few years, rebranded as Saraset. Do you want to just tell them about it? I didn't know if you knew about Brain State, Dr. Eamon. Um, you know, only peripherally. Okay. I don't think it's anything I can talk about with confidence. How about you? Do you want to tell us how it, uh, how it's helped you? I have actually, I, I've only heard of it. Okay. I um, was watching an interview with Amy Grant, and she is very involved with it and has experienced a lot of healing from it. I think that it uses sound to help the brain kind of have an echo so it sees itself and then um, resets, um, kind of heals itself through that. So, yeah. Well, the, the guy that um, I met, Rick Tanzi, uh, I worked with him, and I got to tell you, um, as far as uh, the impact of relaxing, anti-anxiety, I found all of that to be uh, very, very beneficial from that and uh, really enjoyed my time with him and, uh, and the impact of that. I think I would just say it really kind of settled, not settled down, but settled me and uh, really helped my brain to function. Dr. Amon's been a huge part of, of going, well, I don't see anything that uh, one that hurts the other or contradicts the other. But Sherry, you might know more than me. Well, I, I just, Rick Tanzi, I know him and his story is pretty amazing. I mean, he went to Barbados and to teach and he went into his hotel room and a thief broke in and shoved him out his window in the hotel four stories to his death. Um, he didn't die, of course. But uh, he's had a spec scan with Dr. Amen. He did myofascial release. He did EMDR. He, I use him as my poster child when I'm doing trauma. But Saraset, for his head trauma and for other people, have been a, a real life-changing thing for him. And it's right. They use sound waves, and it becomes an acoustical mirror. It's like the brain sees itself and then wants to help itself get back to that place, a healthier place, a healthier brain state. Um, and that's what they do. It's not invasive, no medication, and uh, they can even work around medication if you're on it. So something to look into. Yeah, I, I and I just know, I don't know uh, other parts of the country what they're doing, but I know Rick Tanzi, uh, I was astounded by his story, and, um, and I, I, he's just one of those great Christian men who is committed to helping people. So... I'm glad that you called. Let me send you Dr. Amon's book, and uh, I hope that that'll be a blessing to you there. Let's go to Nancy. New York City is where she's calling from. Yes. Hi there. How are you? Hi. Good. How are you? Excellent. How can we help? 
Um, this is uh, in part for Dr. Amen, um, and I just want to let you know I spoke to um, Ashley about uh, EMDR uh, <clears throat> therapy on the other number prior to to find out how that works. Just want to let you know. Okay. But I'll give a little background, and then you can he can ask me any questions. But I've had a major concussion when I was seven. I'm now sixty. And so back then they didn't know if it was a TBI or whatever, and I was on um, some medications. Uh, uh, I forget what which okay. ones. Okay. So he keep probably, going. He could probably guess. Yep, sure. And then so I've had um, emotional, physical abuse, an alcoholic mother. But that aside, I've had PTSD, and I've had. My father, hearing my father's voice, uh, but he wasn't around, so it was orally through the ear. And uh, that kind of passed. But right now and prior, when I hear noises, it's, um, those noises kind of reverberate and almost throw me off my feet. And I'm a yoga teacher. I've been meditating since 1991. So I guess the whole question is, um, and I've had a brain scan as well uh, early on, and there was something odd. And then I've had one about 10 years ago when I was 50, and they said not remarkable. So there was nothing. Okay. So, Dr. Amen, uh, what do you think? Well, I think there's a whole bunch going on. <laughs> and often people get an MRI, look at the structure of your brain and people say it's fine and they go well it's not my brain. uh the study we do at amen clinics actually have a clinic in manhattan is called spec and it looks at how your brain functions and often when the mri is normal the spec scan is not and it gives you direction if you're hearing your father's voice and you hear these other sounds it actually could be something called temporal lobe dysrhythmia, that your brain is playing tricks on you and your temporal lobes are not firing uh, in a healthy way. And one of the big interesting things we've learned, even if you had your head trauma 53 years ago, you often can still see it on scans and you often can still repair it. Uh, I did the big NFL study We've scanned and treated 300 former NFL players, some of them in their 80s, high levels of damage. But 80% of them got better when we put them on a rehabilitation program. So um, there's obviously, Nancy, a lot going on with you, with an alcoholic mother, and uh, physical uh, and emotional trauma. I think getting your brain right then EMDR could be incredibly helpful. Uh, that's a specific psychological treatment for trauma that Sherry does. Uh, all of that could give you a better brain, a better mind, and a better life. Sherry, you have a thought for her? Yeah, I, I, I think I just really appreciate how much you invest in your brain. I mean, really, I, I was listening to you and kind of the rap sheet of you care about your brain, I can tell. And so often it's not until somebody actually looks at the functional part of it that you get a path and uh, he'll be able to do that. So I say jump in. Get a spec scan and then uh, do some deeper work if if your brain shows that that's needed. Work processing your the harm from the alcoholic mother and growing up, not feeling safe or seen or heard. All that stuff lays heavy in our brain. It creates what mm-hmm. Dr. Amen calls the diamond plus pattern. It can create that. And so looking at it can tell you a whole lot of things that you may not know about yourself today. All right, I'll send you uh, Dr. Amon's book, Your Brain is Always Listening. By the way, Dr. Amon, you know, I had the uh, MRI of my brain, and everybody said, yeah, hey, every uh, molecule possible is there. But your scan showed how the molecules were functioning, and that's what uh, helped me to get on a different path. If I had just said I'm going to go get uh, an MRI of my brain, 
uh, and it came out normal, well, I wouldn't have done anything. So I'm really glad that you had the technology you have that could do something more than just say, yeah, it's all there. Yeah, but what is it doing? That's, that's what you were able to help me with. I just, uh, Dr. Amon kind of gave you a shout out yesterday. Uh, someone that I'm working with has gone and had a spec scan done at your clinic and y'all have really helped her brain finally get on track because she had many things. Parts of her brain were working too hard. Parts weren't working hard enough. And and we just now in, in the final part of it, having her go get tested for Erlen um, syndrome, scotopic sensitivity. So I just want to say thank you. I, um, I watched a video on Erlen syndrome and there your spec scans were in her office on the video. And I thought you've made such an impact on so many forms of treatment. Mm. Awesome. Well, let's go back to the Thank phones so here. Much. And Oh, go ahead, Dr. Amon. Um, you know, Sherry just mentioned something that a lot of people have never heard of, Erlen syndrome, I-R-L-E-N. It's a visual processing problem. And um, so many people get radically better if you have headaches, if when you, you get tired, if words blur or move around on the page and you sort of just feel chronically anxious and irritable um take the self-test on erlen.com i-r-l-e-n.com because if you have that getting it treated will make a major difference a major positive difference in your life Hmm. all right erlen syndrome very good Okay, well, I will send uh, your book out, and anybody else, you can get it, 1-800-NEW-LIFE, A Gift of Any Amount. We send you The Soul of a Hero as our way of saying thank you. That's the last book that Dr. Dave Stoop and I wrote together. Let's go to Bill. He's calling from Denver. Uh, KRKS is the station that he listens to. Hi, Bill. You're on with Dr. Daniel Amen, and Dr. Sherry Keffer. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. All a, right. A few years ago, I went to my doctor. I had the shingles, and he was concerned that I was under a lot of stress. So he sent me to a, a psychiatrist, and in discussing with her uh, about my marriage of 45 years, uh, she felt that my wife had um, borderline personality disorder. Okay. Now. I, my question for Dr. Amon is, one, do, do they really consider that a disorder? It, it has so many uh, symptoms and things in it that it could, it's kind of like a, uh, a um, well, it's all-inclusive, kind of like a horoscope. It fits, everybody, <laughs> fits a lot of people. Yeah, but it and really if, doesn't, if so, you know. If he does consider it a, dis- a valid disorder, has he done any scans on it? On people okay. with. All right. Let's hear from Dr. Amon. Dr. Amon, have you? Yeah. Go ahead. I am so sorry. I, I, if, as you described your wife to the psychiatrist, you described her that way. You must be in a lot of pain for a long time. Um, now, I'm not a fan of psychiatrists making diagnoses from other people's descriptions, because it clearly can be way more complicated than that. Now, having said that, borderline personality disorder is a real thing. It is people who have significant attachment problems, but then mood instability, irritability, they over-idealize someone and then they demonize that person. Mm -hmm. such a painful disorder to live with. Um, it was actually originally described by Otto Kernberg. Uh, I got to debate Otto Kernberg a couple of years ago at the Evolution of Psychotherapy Conference. And I've scanned hundreds of people with borderline personality disorder. They usually have low activity in their frontal lobes, so impulse control is a big deal. They often have decreases in their temporal lobes, mood instability, irritability, dark thoughts. And their cingulate, the part of the brain that's sort of the gear shifter in their frontal lobes, works too hard, makes them sad, worried. If things don't go their way, they get upset. 
So as I describe your wife, and I often say, you know, irritability or anger can can be three things. It can be impulsive. People just get a thought and say it, or they get it, you know, tempted to hurt somebody and they just go do it. it. Can be compulsive, where they just can't stop thinking about it, or it's random and it happens out of the blue. Which of those tend to apply to her? Hold on one sec. Um, Bill, why don't you hold on? Let me let me go to this break, and you can think about that, and and then um, you can tell Dr. Heyman which of those would more apply to her. Some of you might, well, maybe you've uh, had an experience, and it's very similar here, and you're wondering, is this real? Is it not real? Well, what is real is is your pain as a spouse, and we'll try to give you some help with that as well. Help for Bill. We'll be back right after this for more of New Life Live. It had become very apparent that some of the things I was involved with were taking over my life. In today's world, men are barraged with inappropriate content and images all day, every day. Some say that certain behaviors are just no big deal. They're just part of being a guy. But it's simply not true. It's a battleground for every man, and the opportunities to fail are everywhere. The Every Man's Battle Workshop can help. After seven years, he came home and just one weekend, I completely changed man. For over 20 years, New Life Ministries has been helping men regain their integrity and purity through their one-of-a-kind Every Man's Battle Workshop. He didn't want to go when he came home and said, you know, I think this is something that every man should go to. Married, dating, it was definitely life-changing. Now the workshop is coming to Dallas July 9th through the 11th. Don't wait for him to call. To find out more, call 1-800-NEW-LIFE or go to newlife.com. 1-800-N-E-W-L-I-F-E. Hi, this is Steve Arterburn, and for 30 years, New Life has been the most trusted name in Christian counseling. Your ministry has saved my life. If you struggle with emotional hurt, family or marriage problems, the pit of depression, or the pain of addictions, we can help. I'm down 100 pounds now from what I was. You guys are awesome. You are a blessing to America. (laughs) Our treatment programs provide clinically appropriate solutions from licensed professionals all in a biblical framework. I have had problems with alcohol. I think God has ordained this place to be His. You don't have to be a prisoner of your pain. Help is available at 1-800-NEW-LIFE. She tells me that I'm a new man and I feel like a new man. It worked for me and it can work for them too. This time it is different. If you're ready to take the first step toward genuine spiritual and emotional healing, please call us today at 1-800-NEW-LIFE. God can open the door to a better tomorrow right now. Call one 800 New Life. That's 1-800-639-5433. We'd love to hear from you. If you have a question or a comment, call toll-free 1-800-229-3000. Now back to New Life Live. We're back. Steve Arterburn here. And uh, somehow Bill got lost there, and we'll try to get him back on. But in the meantime... um, can you answer Doc, the question, Dr. Yeah. <laughs> is it the real thing? And, and uh, let's, uh, maybe we should assume it. it's real with her. I don't know. Well, I... I oh, I think he's back you know, on. There's so we have, here's reasons. Bill. Bill can answer your question now. Um, so, Bill, the question was, uh, what what was it with your wife? Was it random stuff that was painful was it how would you answer that question basically everything is my fault if she walks across the floor and stubs her toe it's something the reason it's my fault and uh, she won't get any help because there's nothing wrong with her she's Mm -hmm. like an alcoholic she won't admit she has a problem Uh, we were in both in the military Uh, she went to see a uh, social workers and psychologists, and she would go see one. And as soon as he disagreed with with the fact that it was all everything was my problem, then she would say, "Well, he doesn't know what he's talking about." She saw four different people and and quit all of them because she couldn't admit that she had a problem. It had to be all my problem. Okay, so with that, Doctor Amy, what do you think? Everybody. Well, not everybody is a candidate for psychotherapy. You know, I don't think we say that enough. 
that people have to have some level of insight. And that's why, you know, my work of destigmatizing it, looking at it as brain health, not mental illness, is so important. Although, Bill, you know, the question I have is why have you stayed for so long? You know, if this is without love and you're always the problem. Um, and, and I know I'm, I'm on shaky ground when I Yeah, you are. That. But, but, you know, uh, I was I mean, thinking but, this, I was uh, thinking the same question because, you know, it's affecting your body. And it made me wonder about if you grew up in a home where there was a lot of rage uh, or anger. And it's kind of always been what you've lived with, like the frog in the pot. No, I, I grew up in a home that was wonderful. Okay. My mother and father were very much in love, and uh, and I had a, a wonderful childhood. So are you staying so that you don't leave because uh, your parents never left? Well, I, I don't really believe in divorce, but the problem now is I'm 75 years old, so <laughs> it's a little late to be. Yeah, well, and, and it sounds like to me that you, you have a, a theology that's like mine, that there are certain grounds for divorce and, and that wasn't met by her. But, man, it, it was horrible. It was cruel what to have to experience you always being the problem. You know, but... Uh, you it, know, I, think, so I do have I another think comment, too, though. Bill, let, let me just say this and I'll get it out of the way. I have seen so many couples where one wouldn't come. Um, and so I just treated the other one. And one of the things I taught them to do is notice what you like about the other person more than what you don't like and really work hard for four months, six months, where you just don't engage with the negativity. Don't be rude. Don't avoid her. But when she is appropriate, notice that and reinforce that. And I often say to my couples, you know, there are ways to say things and there are ways to say things. So you can mm -hmm. say the exact same thing in a way that brings someone close to you. Or you can say exactly the same thing in a way that pushes them away. You always want to be 100% responsible for what's going on in your relationship. And by that, what I mean is not that it's your fault. Responsibility and fault have nothing to do with each other. It's your ability to respond to the situation you're in. And if you're blaming her for how your life is turning out, you're a victim and you obviously have no power, can't change anything. And if because of your belief system, you're there for the long run, well, you might as well get as much power as you can in the relationship. And you do that by noticing what you like more than what you don't. Hmm. Well, I do like that advice. I think that... That is good. I think you're saying be responsible for what you can be responsible for and be focused on what's good as much as you possibly can. But I'll tell you, it's a tough, tough Philippians thing. Philippians 4 eight. Right, it's but, Philippians 4 eight. Think on yeah. whatever is true, right, lovely, good, excellent, worthy of praise. Let your mind dwell on these things. And that's how you shape behavior. It's how you shape behavior in children. It's how you yeah. shape behavior in employees. It's how you shape behavior in your spouse. I, I can guarantee you, Steve, you've met my wife. I know how to make her scream at me in under 10 seconds. But I never <laughs> do that. Yeah. I always right. work to make her smile because that's yeah. my power place. But the thing about the borderline that I believe is true is they're emotionally blind. You, you wouldn't say to a blind person, let me show you something. They couldn't see it. And I believe that's, that's the, like the distinctive characteristic of a borderline personality disorder. It, they just can't let it in, can't see it. Maybe you could comment on that when we come back, Sherry. It's really, really tough. We'll take a break, come right back. 1-800-NEW-LIFE if you need some help. We'd love to help. 
I came into this thinking that my husband was the cause of many of our issues. The New Life Intimacy and Marriage Workshop is coming to Washington, D.C., July 23rd to the 25th. But after learning about our attachment styles, I understood how our past hurts were playing into our present problems. Join Steve Arterburn. It's been a dream of mine for a long time to help people to grow more intimately together, and we believe that everybody has room to grow in the intimacy level of their life. And Mylan and Kay Yurkovich. We help couples understand how their attachment style is sabotaging their current relationship. And then we teach them how to create comfort in a relationship. And New Life's group counselors will help you focus on the area that will benefit your marriage most. To register or to find out more, call 1-800-NEW-LIFE. Here at this workshop, we had our first ever conversation without yelling, blaming, and accusing. 1-800-NEW. L-I-F-E. I was really living a very anxiety-filled life. I did go to take your life back. That's why I continue to support the ministry with the hope that not only am I helping my own situation, that I'm helping others as well. You can help New Life Live stay on the air by joining Club New Life today. When you sign up to support us monthly through Club New Life, we'll send you the New Life member thank you gift of the New Life Journal, 100 Days of Peace, 7 Ways to Choose Healing, Growth Has No Boundaries, a Restoration Bible, and a New Life Grocery Tote to hold it all. Plus, there are ongoing benefits, like access to the Club New Life video library, the monthly Club New Life CD or download, quarterly resources, free shipping on purchased resources, and discounts on workshops. Call 1-800-NEW-LIFE. That's 1-800-639-5433. Support Club New Life, and together we can help hurting people find help and hope in life's hardest places. Call 1-800-639-5433 to join Club New Life today. glad you joined us for New Life Live. To be a part of the program, call 1-800-229-3000. Now back to New Life Live. We're back. Sherry, I ask you to just make a comment or two yeah, about the kind of borderline situation. Cliffhanger there. You know, yeah. what you said is they, they don't see it. Um, I, I think at times there's a pattern where we make it easy for them to continue to treat us badly. And I just want to address that for a second. I mean, I have had folks that I've worked with who will do a temporary hiatus, meaning a temporary separation, not necessarily a legal separation, but a respite when they're on the other end of being acted out upon. The kryptonite for somebody who is borderline because of their attachment issue is actually abandonment. They really don't want to lose the one they're with, but they don't want to treat you well either. And so having a boundary of protection around your heart, around your health, yeah. or maybe you would take off for a week, um, could be uh, with, with the, I just, that hurt me. I just need a little break from us. I'm not leaving. I'm not divorcing, but I just need some time away to sort out how to figure out how to to be together with you and yeah. and some couples will take a weekend uh, and come to our um, marriage intensive yeah. uh, Myla and Kay teach that and in their book how we love the vacillator in the book um, is often something that a borderline person will read and identify with and not feel pathologized with and Myla and Kay talk about how that dynamic that they bring in can really hurt a relationship or it can help it. And um, so that might be a great way for you to bring her to the conference, which is going to be July 25th, uh, 23rd through 25th in Texas, right? Yeah. Washington, Wa D.C. Washington, D.C. So good time right. to make a trip. Larry Sonnenberg's here. Larry, what do you have for us uh, today? Steve, tomorrow starts uh, Restore Workshop for the Women with Betrayed Hearts. And uh, I want to read you a, a quick testimony from a recent attendee. She said, to walk into a room of women all hurting from somewhat the same experience as me is like finding lost friends battling the same giant. It brings mixed emotions of empowering that I'm not alone and great sadness of the sin running rampant in our men today. Hearing Shelley's story and being set free with the truths of the Word of God gives me hope and encouragement to continue the steps God has before me, and no matter the outcome of my marriage, the outcome for me and God will be better than 
when I, when I arrived. I now have tools to fight the battle that I can fight the negative thoughts and feelings and know God and I will be the victors. Hmm. So, ladies, if you, it's one more day to sign up. By, by 10 o'clock, by noon tomorrow, Central Time, they cl- we close the registration. So please call now. Sign up today. It's not too late. We want you to be there. We want you to experience the life change. Yeah. Finally, Larry, uh, the, the gift for joining Club New Life. Thank Can you. you just explain that real quick? Yeah, we have a new thank you gift, relatively new. You get a New Life grocery tote. You get 100 Days of Peace. It's a uh, devotional. A New Life Journal, The Restoration Bible, Seven Ways to Choose Healing, a little book, and another little book, Growth Has No Boundaries, and we call it our Time with God Kit. We want this to help you spend more time in the Word, journaling, thinking about things. So $30 to $30 a month. If you're a current member of Club New Life, if you add $10 to your monthly gift, we'll send you this uh, thank you gift as well. And And it is a great one. We really are so grateful to our Club New Life people. Amen. And then a gift of any amount, we send you the book I wrote with Dr. Dave Stoop, The Soul of a Hero. It will really help you understand that heroes, before they go off to battle, they fight and win the war within. That's what a real hero is. Thank you, Larry. 1-800-NEW-LIFE. If you can help us right now, let's go to Maria from Menlo Park, California, KFAX. Hello, Maria. How are you? Hi, um, yeah, um, my question might be for um, Dr. Shabby Keffert, but mostly Dr. Inman. Okay. And, yeah, uh, I had oh. 10 car accidents, and the nine car accident. Is only when uh, I was um, I was in a stoplight. I was rear-ended, and then by the police because you're sleeping, and then other other people, you know. And then either either when I was backing up, someone backed up, and the third is like it's for the ten carats that. I, there was only like my fault because I was I was struck by the sun on my eyes in which I just had a chemical eye injury three days before that, but it was in a shopping mall. I I okay. I hit so the help or, us. Uh, we we don't have a lot of time. Tell ask Dr. Amen a question. You've had these accidents, and uh, what is the question for him? Yeah, the question is I went to the. Dr. Amen Clinic in Bristol, 2019, because the 10th car accident is the only accident that um, I was that it was my car is moving. I was in a green light um, in a 25 miles per hour, and the, and the other lady was in red light. He is uh, driving Toyota Highlander. I was a Toyota Corolla. The police report and the two witnesses say. I was in green. With that, I had um, I had cognition gate in my eyes, um, according to the spec, and also according to the medical records and you know all these things. Um, the doctor that saw me over there said that you know that. I have to talk to the. I have to tell my lawyer to get more money. Okay. You know, so, and he is well, really. How could we help you? Help, ask Dr. Amen a question or Dr. Keffer. How is it we could help you? Um. The the doctor flipped. He said that he doesn't know if the death car accident is the cause of the. Of the brain concussion, the eye, the gait, and even if, you know, even if I had uh, neurology in my, you know, the face of the post concussion, okay. all these things, and okay. So, Dr. So Amen, can you comment on on what's uh, what might have happened here? Or? Well, when you have that many concussions, it's hard to tell 
what caused what. And uh, there's a concept I like called brain reserve that might help everyone listening. It's the extra tissue you have to deal with whatever stress is come your way. So you can take two people, put them in the same car, the same accident. One of them walks away unharmed. Mm -hmm. The other one's permanently disabled. And you go, well, why is that? It depends on the brain they bring into the accident. If someone brings a relatively healthy brain into the accident, it's not going to leave as much damage as someone who had a more vulnerable brain. Mm -hmm. And um, Maria's brain is clearly vulnerable from all of the injuries that have happened before. But no matter what caused it or the stacked stresses uh, that caused it, you know, working to rehabilitate it is really important. Now, whenever there's a legal issue, um, it just becomes a bit more complicated. You know, did this cause that? And from a legal standpoint is if the current accident exacerbated it, likely did, then there's a legal case to be made. Mm -hmm. Uh, So, but I think boosting brain reserve would be my first goal. Yeah. Sherry, a comment on this? Yeah, I would just add to it. You know, just hearing you, Maria, first off, I'm so sorry about how many accidents that has been any human being would be traumatized by by that. Mm -hmm. Even as you were sharing your story and the details of your story and where you were at, I could sense that your heart, your brain, and your mind was still in hypervigilance. Mm-hmm. And, and when we have traumas that happened and we don't treat them psychologically through EMDR or other therapeutic interventions, yeah. that trauma lives on. It's like it lives day to day in conversations. We stay in a hypervigilant state and we don't find settling in our hearts. Um, and so I, I think a both and, right? Focus in on the report that Dr. Amon gave you and all those lovely things that are the brain reserves that he has included in his report. And then I would say get some therapy, some EMDR to help you sort through the messiness of the trauma that feels like it just happened yesterday. All right, I'm glad you called. I want you to hold on. I'm going to send you a copy of Take Your Life Back, I think it will. my life I've been dealing with an opiate addiction. Why is opioid addiction quickly becoming one of our nation's biggest killers? Maybe it's because it isn't only those who are addicted who are in denial. We did what I see so many parents do, is it can't be an addiction. There's something medically wrong. It's impossible to solve a problem when you don't know what you're up against, and families will try to find any explanation except the one that will put them on the right path. Alcoholism and drug addiction is a family disease. It doesn't affect just the individual. If someone you love is abusing painkillers, know what you're up against. It's time to admit its addiction and seek treatment. Call us today at 1-800-NEW-LIFE. We have partner treatment centers around the country. Call 1-800-639-5433 or visit us online at newlife.com. We just made a decision. We will do whatever it takes. 1-800-NEW-LIFE. Hi, this is Steve Arterburn, and for 30 years, New Life has been the most trusted name in Christian counseling. I'm an addict, and I'm trying to get God in my life again. You seem to be able to get to the crux of a problem quickly. Our Christ-centered treatment programs can help you break free to embrace all that God has for you and your family. I just want to thank you guys for bringing me to a relationship with Jesus. There really is help for marital problems, depression, addictions, panic attacks, and feelings of hopelessness. I came back with so many tools to help me prepare myself to fight this struggle and this battle that I have every day. You can start living again today. Living the life God intended for you. Help is available at 1-800-NEW-LIFE. They did care and they did follow up very lovingly and it made all the difference in my life. Call us at 1-800-NEW-LIFE. Someone who cares is waiting at the other end of the phone. God can open the door to a better tomorrow right now. Just call us at 1-800-NEW-LIFE. 1-800-639-5433.
To find out more information about New Life or to order any of the resources mentioned on today's program, call 1-800-NEW-LIFE. Now back to New Life Live. We're back. Tough, tough situations people encounter. I've got time for one more call. If you need some help, please call us at 1-800-NEW-LIFE. Let us give you some help. We always enjoy having Dr. Amen on, but sometimes, man, these calls are really, really tough ones. So let's let's go here to jo- Joni from Jackson, New, New Hampshire. That's Sirius XM, and uh, you are on with Dr. Amen, Dr. Sherry Keffer. How you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for taking my call. I sure. love hearing your guys' advice, and I have Dr. Amon's book. Um, I have some friends who, for 15 years, we've been so close, and now their daughter, who's 19, um, has we've been doing some dog stuff together for the last year or so, and she just, like, can't stop lying. Hmm. And so I did what the Bible said, and I, I'm, so I'm wondering, is this, how much is brain and how much is just we're all sinners? Um, she makes stuff up about her work that's, uh, it, it's not just to cover her reputation and make herself look good. Sometimes it's just like, I, I don't get it. I just don't get it. Okay. So, so what's um, the question for Dr. Amon? And now the parent. Well, can I help them? She runs to the parents and says, don't let mean Joni criticize me. And they run to their church and say, Joni's so mean. And I'm like, I'm not mean. I'm helping you. Let's all see what sinners we are, and let's encourage each other and build each other up, and iron sharpens iron. So how much is learned? How much is there anything I can do to help Um how much is learned, how much is brain. And I am dealing with this specific situation, especially meeting with them at their church on next Monday. But um, it's me, okay. too. I mean, okay. I'm, you know, all of us. Okay, so thank you. All right, Dr. Raymond, what are, you, what are your thoughts here? Well, this is just such uh, an important issue to talk about. It's how do we be helpful to people who are suffering and how do we not be hurtful? And I often say you have no influence without connection. So the first thing always is to make sure you protect the relationship. And if they're seeing you somehow as critical or negative, I just think about that and see if that's true. And if not, then you try to model the message. Um, We just finished our happiness challenge, and people can still take it for another month or so, 30dayhappinesschallenge.com. And inviting someone to do the happiness challenge where you learn how to manage your mind, and this thing I love, it's a concept, Steve, I think you'll love, it's gain psychological distance from the noise in your head. Hmm. You don't have to believe every stupid thing you think. But there's nowhere in school they teach you how to recall and kill the ants. In my new book, Your Brain is Always <laughs> Listening, there's a big section on ant killing. <laughs> and so you have to model that. And then if you're connected, then you can give it away. But I basically am not going to let anybody tell me something negative about myself unless I trust them. And so relationship is foundational. Sherry, we do comment have a here. 15-year relationship. And they've, the dad said, because I talked to them before when I went first to her one-on-one then with her parents, and dad said, well, you're... If only my problems at work would be addressed like you are talking to us now. So they, we do have a 15-year relationship, and they, at least Dad, is grateful that I'm following biblical, um, you okay. know, gentleness Good. and redemption yeah. and Good. 
But one I'm, thing... I'm the next one sure, there. Let, let, let's see if Yeah, Sherry one thing that I'm hearing, and it might be hard to... You know, oftentimes we have blind spots within ourselves. I'm watching the the Netflix, I guess, called The Chosen. It's really an amazing uh, story of how Jesus lived and rolled, but it's done from a whole different perspective. And as I'm watching how he chose his disciples and they were real people like you and me, there was much less criticism and harshness. There was more love, acceptance, also guiding them in truth. But kind of where we started with Dr. Amen is if you are trying to change this 19-year-old because you think it's the best plan for her to not lie, until you are in a relationship that's collaborative, that she's willing and open to let you into her heart, you have no grounds to be telling her what to do. She's not open. So when I hear her saying, don't let me jo- mean Joni, help me, the first thing I would encourage you to do is step back. Because what, how is that 19-year-old experiencing you as mean? If you're trying to correct her, if you're trying to change her, if you're trying to walk her into biblical truth and convict her in her wrong ways, that's, that may be a better role for the Holy Spirit right now until she gets herself into some deeper, a deeper problem where the lying isn't going to serve her well. You know, Sherry, I was, I was talking to somebody about Dr. Stoop. In real life situations, when people had problems, he kind of started with, and I think it was out of his own brokenness, his own hurt that he worked. He would start with, "Oh, I can totally see how you would get to this place." Yeah, and it was like, "It's yeah. like, oh, this makes so much sense that." And then you know, he would whatever crazy thing was going on or or painful thing, but he could. He never made it like he was. He knew the truth, and they didn't, or whatever. Right. He started with, "Oh, I, I totally get that." Versus, "We're all sinners. You're sinning. We got to fix this." It, it doesn't seem to go well when we do that. And it, sh- and so I, I really do think uh, trying to evaluate what your role should be is probably the best first step. Not assume that because you hear a positive thing from the dad or anything like that that it should just be full bore and let me help you fix your sin most people they just will resist that in every way possible i will send you uh, a copy of take your life back i hope that that will be a blessing to you and i will thank dr amen who is the author of your brain is always listening you know i think these past uh, times we've been on together dr amen we've had some People have had a hard, they want answers from you, but they have a hard time really getting it in many times in a place that, that we can help them. The brain is a confusing thing or a confused thing, one or the other. That's my statement. What do you think? <laughs> well, I'm just so grateful to be able to talk to the people who love new mm. life and yeah. see if we can be helpful to them. You know, I think of space a lot and The brain is really the new frontier, and it's just such an exciting time in neuroscience. We're learning so many wonderful new things, and to have a program like New Life really explore that with the listeners is just such a great service for them. Mm. Thank you for being here. The brain is always listening. Your brain is always listening. And... uh, Intimate Deception, Dr. Sherry Keffer, another book you can get at newlife.com. And uh, a thank you gift for any gift, The Soul of a Hero by Dave Stoop and myself. See you next time. Take care. Thanks for listening. We hope this program has helped you by giving you insights for handling the challenges you face in your life. We want you to know that we're here for you, but you also need to know that New Life Live is a listener-supported ministry. To make your donation or to get any of the resources mentioned on today's program, call 1-800-NEW-LIFE. That's 1-800-639-5433 or write to us at New Life Ministries, P.O. Box 1029, Lake Forest, California, 92609. Please join us again tomorrow for New Life Live. 
Hi, thank you for watching New Life Live. You know, New Life Live is a Christian counseling program where we deal with the hard questions about life, relationships, kids, free choice, freedom of will, whatever. It's all right there on New Life Live every day, every weekday, 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. If you want to call into the live broadcast, you can find the schedule on newlife.com or click the social media link right below. You can see every episode of New Life Live on the New Life YouTube channel. Watch it with a friend, watch it later. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you'll never miss another episode. So if you want to listen on the go, download the app. The link is right below. And I hope if you need some information, if you want to get some help, you'll call us at 1-800-NEW-LIFE. And I'll see you next time.